Hello there, people of the Webernet. The Sheep Killer here. Welcome back to the Pokemon Blaze Glaze Nuzlocke. On the last episode, it was a terrible day. You should just go back and watch the episode if you want to know what happened. But if you don't care or if you have seen the episode, continue watching because we're going to take a look at the PC now. Oh my gosh, our death box is absolutely ridiculous. We lost six Pokemon in the last episode during the Johto League. We made it to the champion, but we lost them all. Now we gotta fight our way through the league once again with our new team here. This is our new team now. By the way, the only returning member is Goldie the Gyarados, but everyone else is new. So here we go, we got Mothra the Volcarona with Bug Buzz, Flamethrower, Earth Power, Giga Drain, Goldie the Gyarados with Waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance, Mandrake is back, and he's got Leaf Blade, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power, and Knock Off, Motor, our new Rotom, replacing Budget, has Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, Signal Beam, and Confuse Ray, and we got some legendaries on the team as well. But after how I, how much destruction I faced last episode, I think it's fair. Psychic, Aura Sphere, Moonblast, and Shadow Ball. And then Zephyr the Rayquaza with Dragon Claw, Fly, Earthquake, and Surf. That's our team. With that, we are now ready to take on the league. Let's get started and hope it's enough this time. We need to leave the fire type, so we got Mothra up front. I'm not even going to read the dialogue this time because we did last time. Oh, I misclicked. Fantastic. What a great start, misclicking. Yeah, get out of here, I'm 11 levels higher than you. Pentacruel's next, let's go into Mewtwo then. Hit him with Psychic, we got hit by Spikes, but who cares. Gengar, we can kill that too. We're faster, and I just realized the animations are off, so we'll have to fix that after this battle. But who cares, we defeated Ivan easily with our new team here. Ivan was always the easiest though, the second member's pretty easy as well. Things don't start getting challenging until the third member, I think. Oh, I still have a Max Survive. I should have sold that before recording. Oh well. Let's Moo Moo the Mothra, and the next Elite Four member uses... They use normal types, so let's have Frieza up front, and let's fight Whitney once again. I'm starting with Snorlax, and why do you have Thunder Wave? That makes no sense. Heck out of here, we'll kill you. I'm gonna swap out, and can anyone else hit him harder? I don't know. Let's go into Goldie, and use Waterfall. He doesn't do much. Why do you have Thunder Wave? That's so stupid. I didn't even know if Snorlax could learn Thunder Wave. Maybe it can't in this game. It's just weird. But yeah, Frieza is our strongest Pokemon. Well, actually, Rayquaza's tied, so let's go into Rayquaza. Alright, he's in Fly, so you cannot Thunder Wave me. The Snorlax is trying to sweep me. I know it. And we got you. Finally. That was ridiculous. You were not that much trouble last time. What the heck happened? I don't know, but let's go into Goldie. We'll use a Cherry Berry before taking down this Blissey. We go for Calm Mind. It's not going to make a difference. You're dead. There we go. Next is Whitney's Mill Tank. Let's use another Cherry Berry, because we're bringing in Frieza this time. Now let's Aura Sphere. Not a one-shot, unfortunately, but we'll get there. We'll, we'll kill it eventually. Critical hit, there we go. Speed things up. Let's continue using Mewtwo and hopefully kill things faster than that, my gosh. And just love stalling me, get out of here. This is wiggly tough. Let's go into Mandrake then, Mandrake's first battle. Sludge Bomb, it's dead. There we go. What? I lost? Yeah, you did. Alright, now on to the third member to lead for. I forgot who they start with, but let's lead with Rayquaza. Yeah, why not? Here we go. Let's fight Cowl. They have- oh yeah, they start with Raichu. So, let's kill him with Earthquake. Kill him with Earthquake. Wow. Like the Vire. Kill him with Earthquake. And Rotom Wash. This is where we gotta go into Mandrake and hit him with a Leaf Blade. Dead. One shot that guy who gave us trouble before. Well, even if that specific Rotom Wash hasn't given us trouble before, other Rotom Washes have, so it's still satisfying to one shot. And now this Jolteon is giving us trouble thanks to a substitute spam. I decided to give up though, and now it's dead thanks to a point was critical. This is where our skills are truly tested because we did lose someone against this Memory Elite 4 last time. I think we're gonna leak with Motor. Let's get started. Using it is here. He took down Meganium, of all things, last time. So yeah, let's just get things started then. Starting with Empoleon, and this Empoleon is what took down Meganium with a critical Ice Beam. He's already being stupid, so I'm swapping out. Goes for a full restore, I got Aura Sphere, and you're gonna be too shot, gosh. This Empoleon's too strong. I'm glad we killed it, without anyone dying this time. Yeah, get it, your Swampert. Next is Milotic, let's stay in. I forgot about this. This this also gave me trouble last time. Alright, let's... Oh, come on. I hate the hypnosis so much. Why can't you just miss for once in your worthless life? <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. Hypnosis? Oh, you finally missed. Thank you. And now I shall Earthquake. You're not dead, and you used hypnosis again. Alright, but now you're dead for real. There we go. And next up is a Starmie. Okay. I think we might just stay in with our... 
I don't know what to do against Starmie. I guess we can go to Rotom. And, um, I almost said Rotom, it's Motor. He's our best option, I think, because Mandrake could work, but he's weak to Psychic. Let's go into Goldie, I think. We can't do much to it, but it can't do much to us either, unless it freezes me with Ice Beam, I guess. Goes for Calm Mind. It's Earthquake. After two Dragon Dances, we got it. It's dead. There we go. We defeated Yusin without losing a single Pokemon. That's what I like to see. I hate the check tag so much because I just want to spam A when sucking a berry, but I can't because the check tag is there. Let's leave with Mewtwo though. I forgot who Chris leads with, but we're gonna we're gonna leave with Mewtwo, our strongest Pokemon. And hey, it was a good lead. They lead with Heracross. It's dead. Next is Alligator. You're part. You're, you're a Water Dark type, and my phone went off. Well, yeah, you're a Water Dark type. I know that for a fact at this point. So let's go into Motor and hit him with the Thunderbolts. If they somehow survived and hit me with like a Night Slash or something, I would have died, but whatever, we're fine. Let's fight Dragon with Dragons, kinda risky, but I think we could one shot. Yeah, we can. Rayquaza is just too strong. And once again, fighting Dragon with Dragon! Oh, jeez, I hate Sceptile. We just lost Rayquaza of all things, wow. See, bringing Legendaries is fair, because they can die just as easily as the others. They couldn't go through this without losing someone, I guess. Oh, shoot, they have Thunder Fang. I gotta get out of here. I guess we'll go into Frieza. Yeah, we can hit him with Psychic. They were gonna kill me. They were out. They were out for death there. But yeah, down it goes. Metagross is next. This Metagross gave me trouble before too. But it's our last Pokemon. Take this out and we're done. Yep, we got it. With that, Champion Chris is defeated. We lost Rayquaza, but at least that's all we lost. We didn't lose the battle again. I was afraid of the day I'd lose, but I'm not sad now. I'm all charged up from our great battle. I'm the longest drawing from Jodo. You are. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. I still don't like you. You must come with me. We're going to get register you in the Hall of Fame. Proud of you, fellow Gator. Take a rest inside your Pokeball. Wow. Yeah, let's go register in the Hall of Fame. Only the very strongest have been in here. Place our party on this machine. Have their feats recorded for eternity. And with that... Oh, Henry's here. If you're not where Pius and Regina went, you're going to help out, right? Meet us at Evergreen Town when you're ready. Thanks so much. Now that that's all done, we gotta go to Evergreen Town to continue with the plot. Now that now that the plot in Johto's done, we're going to the next place. But we gotta put Rayquaza to rest first. He put in some work, but ended up dying in the end. So, let's come up with a replacement for him in between episodes as well. That's gonna be annoying, but... It's gotta be done. So yeah, next time on the Pokemon Blaze Plays Nuzlocke, we're gonna follow Henry to the next place. I'll see you guys then. Happy hunting!